Lincoln is following up on its 17% third quarter sales increase with a redesign uh, for one of its most important models, the Nautilus. For more on that, we are joined by Lincoln Motor President Joy Falatico. Yahoo Finance Senior Auto Reviewer Praz Sumermanian is also here. Good morning to you both. Joy, let me start with you. Uh, the new Nautilus, uh, some upgrades on the, on the exterior, but a lot of focus on the interior. Uh, why'd you make that move? Yeah, absolutely. As you mentioned, we have some refinements uh, with our signature grill and, and lamps on the outside, but a lot of work on the interior with our new SYNC uh, 4.0 system. It's going to have an intelligent digital assistance, uh, bringing infotainment in a 13.2 inch screen. So lots of work on the interior. Hey, Joy Pross here. I wanted to kind of pivot to the brand itself and the revamp you guys are going through. You know, you guys uh, noted you had one of your strongest October ever. Um, third quarter sales up, you know, over 15%. You know, how much of this, I mean, I know a lot of it's driven by just a strong SUV sales and you guys have a new kind of lineup in the, in with, with the new Aviator also, recently, recently kind of um, the new model, the Navigator from a couple of years ago. How sustainable is that as a as a way to kind of grow? Because you know, do you need to do you need to kind of expand the sedan line too? Like, what's what's the what's the what's the engine here? Well, we're focusing on the growth segments, which is, as you mentioned, an SUV. And our new Nautilus is really in the heart of the uh, utility segment in the medium premium utility. And that makes up 34% of all luxury sales. So we're really excited to refresh this vehicle. And we're really confident in our SUV lineup. And as we look forward, you know, we're looking at electrification. We actually began our journey last year with our Aviator GT. And we're working on an electrified vehicle that's fully uh, electrified. And so we, we feel really confident in our lineup. Joy, uh, can you explain why the Lincoln brand is so popular in China? This is not a new phenomenon. It has been going on for probably for well over a year. And are you concerned on, on the rise of these electric vehicle companies uh, in China? Certainly outside of Tesla has been doing well in China, but you have Xpeng, Neo. They're making a lot of inroads into the market. Yeah, you know, we've had a really great run uh, this year, uh, really resilient and nice bounce back with COVID in the market there, especially in the premium segments. And we've actually had uh, record sales months the last five uh, months consecutively in a row. Um, we're really comfortable with our lineup there. We're so pleased that the Guangzhou Auto Show is going on right now. Uh, and just yesterday, our aviator won SUV of the year. Uh, so really excited in the luxury segment. And we do have uh, electrification that we're working on with a fully electric vehicle uh, that'll be coming in the future. So we're, we're really excited about the growth in the China market. Jared Blickery here. I want to get your take on the bigger picture with, after COVID, uh, the trends that we've seen. You mentioned the trending hires, these luxury uh, automobiles and, and SUVs, this, which is right behind you right now. Anything else, anything surprising? What are the consumer trends here? Well, you know, with COVID, it's really about uh, having a safe environment uh, for everyone to transact. And we've been really focused on that, the safety of our employees being number one and our, our clients as well. Um, so we've got real good protocols in our dealerships. And, you know, with Lincoln and our brand transformation, it's not about just our great products, but it's about our service experience as well. And we've had effortless sales experiences that provide the ability to have remote pickup and delivery, uh, remote sales delivery. We have what we call Lincoln Showcase, where you can virtually tour a vehicle. And so really the safety is an important trend now with all luxury clients. Hey, Joy, I kind of want to go back to what you said about electric vehicles. Um, you know, earlier this year, you, uh, Lincoln canceled plans to build a vehicle on, on the Rivian platform, a company you guys, Ford, has invested in. Uh, since then, you've had a new CEO, Jim Farley, talk about how these kinds of electric cars are fundamental to Ford's future and also the Lincoln line. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned a, a little update. Is you think anything more on that? Is there going to be a, a Rivian-based Lincoln coming up too? Well, as you mentioned, we reviewed our plans early this year and mutually decided not to proceed. And we're focusing at Lincoln on building our own fully battery electric vehicle, and we'll have more to say about that in the future. But we really began the journey last year when we launched our Aviator a Hybrid a Grand Touring Vehicle. And next year, in 2021, we'll be bringing out the Corsair Hybrid Vehicle as well. So we're well on the, uh, the journey here to electrification.